Hey everybody, my name's John, and this is my first YouTube video ever. So I can guarantee you now it's going to be pretty terrible. So feel free to leave comments on how bad it is. Uh, well, that's a picture of me. Uh, fairly accurate representation, except that I do have hair and do wear glasses. But otherwise, it's exactly how I look like. Uh, but uh, actually, that's, it's all extraneous information. This video is on how to make a wireless Wii sensor bar. Now, if you own a Wii, you know that this is the sensor bar that it comes with. As you can see, it does have a wire. That's what we don't want. Um, all it is is actually a pair of five IR diodes on each side. Um, that's infrared. And that's really all it is. So it's pretty easy to reproduce. Um, let's take, go ahead and take a look at a diagram that we need to make something that will reproduce this. As you can see, the diagram is actually pretty simple. It doesn't take too long to make. Here we have a AAA battery holder, which will hold two AA batteries. Um, well, you're going to have a red wire and black wire on that. The red wire is going to lead to a switch. The switch leads to a 60 ohm resistor, which in turn leads to two infrared LEDs in series. And this LED is going to connect back to the black wire. Um, you're just going to need a soldering iron to connect, make all the connections and really it's not much more difficult than that it took me about maybe 20 minutes to make um, actually that, that's a lie maybe about an hour <laughs> but um, oh, another thing to note is actually that the dials have to be positioned in this fashion otherwise uh, the circuit's not going to work because current just doesn't flow that way um, but once again that's the diagram that you're going to need to follow to reproduce this here is a parts list uh, I got all these from Radio Shack, so uh, those are the numbers I have. As you can see, the switch has two different numbers, but there's just two different parts that you can use. It really doesn't matter, just any switch will work. And for the 60 ohm resistor, just find something that's pretty close to that value. I already had some, so I didn't have to worry about that. But um, that's, that's the diagram. So what you should actually end up having is something that looks like this. Um, I, mean, I actually used a lot of hot glue to make sure everything doesn't move around. Um, but this is the final product. And as you can see, they're actually on. And you can see the uh, infrared that's shining. So without further ado, I'm going to go show you how this actually works. Well, actually, show you that it actually does work. I'm leaving my sensor by here. Just let you know, so I'm not cheating. I'm going to head out to my living room where my projector is. And I'm going to place them on my table. You can place them wherever you feel works best, but uh, I'm lazy, so I don't feel like positioning them anywhere too hard to reach right now. But that's where my press sensor is going to sit and grab my remote. Here's my screen, and here's the cursor. So I mean, I'm waving my um, remote back and forth, and you can see it's working. So um, that's about it. And. I hope you can make it. If you have any questions, just post on the comments and I'm sure someone nicer than me will be able to reply to your uh, questions and concerns. Um, but uh, good luck and um, ha happy gaming, I guess. That was kind of gay, but alright, have a nice day.